The first lady of Niger comes from Meghan Markle and her nakedness. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Eh, when what? I when I when my mom just told me the title, when she just told me generally what mm. she said, mm-hmm. I went off a beat. Right. But then I heard what she actually said. So this is and what I, let us read. Yeah, let's what read she it. Actually said verbatim. So, the, this is the president's wife, uh, the president of Nigeria's wife, at a Nigeria youth event um, celebrating her husband's first year. Um, you know, her name is um, Oluremi Tinubu. So, First Lady Oluremi Tinubu, she made this comment, and I guess she's talking about, you know, the youth of Nigeria wearing, you know, maybe exposing a lot of their flesh when they're going out or whatever and she says this we are not having the met gala i would have liked to see the whole event because i don't know if they were having a fashion show or something yeah and then she made this comment i i don't know what the uh what they did at the event that triggered her like this but she says this we are not having the met gala we don't accept nakedness in our culture it is not beautiful at all. They are mimicking, they meaning the youth of Nigeria, are mimicking and trying to emulate film stars from America. They don't know where they come from. Why did Megan come here looking for Africa? That is something we have to take home with. We know who we are and don't lose who you are. So really, she's pretty much saying that they are trying to emulate, emulate um, black American stars, right? Because if you're saying that, you're, you're talking about black American stars when you say they don't know where they come from. That oh. is what you're saying. Okay. And Whoa. who will the Nigerians there be emulating? They'll be emulating the people who look like them. Right. Which are the black Americans. And so, you know, and then you call Megan's name. Megan came there with her husband to start this Evictus game in Nigeria. They had a wonderful, amazing time. She was giving this beautiful... Um, Yoruba name by the king um, there and so beautiful a very nice trip um, made a lot of connection Megan recently has found that she's 43% Nigerian when she did you know some uh, DNA test um, and so she was very excited anyhow so for my thing is if you want to talk about Nigerian youth and how they need to be dressing and whatever, do that. But you don't have to, if you're trying to empower the youth, the young women, obviously that's who you're trying to empower, right? Or maybe the young men as well. You're trying to empower them. You're trying to instruct them. You don't have to put down another people to do so. Facts. And that's how I felt that she did. And for me, I have a problem with that. Um, and then from out of nowhere, you call Megan's name. I th- and, and well, you know, this is why she's here. You know, she don't know who she is. So you see how she come here to our place. Okay. You all know who you are. They don't. So uh, you don't. You don't need to be following them. They need to be following you. That is what she's saying. And let me just let me just complete this. You know, I have a big problem. I have a big time problem with people. You know, really getting about people's dressing. I just do. I mean, yes, I am Muslim. We have our you know our instructions from Allah. I have a problem. I just do. I just feel as though there are so many different ways. Let someone want to cover if they want, you know, to cover. Let it come from them. I just have a problem when people, they harp on someone's dress and how they look, how they choose to do their hair. Or should you cut the hair? Should you let it be? Or how they dress. I feel as though... The way someone dresses is their expression. A lot of times young people, 
they feel as though they don't have any control on their lives, period. You know, and I think that sometimes the way they dress is like an expression of themselves, you know, like if you want to say something, you say, oh, okay, well, maybe this looks kind of whatever. There's a way to say that, to encourage them. But for you to just pin on that, there are other things going on in the world, I feel, that if you go and you just start talking about the way the youth dress, they're not going to listen to you. They just aren't. Why don't you have, and the forum, you're here to celebrate your husband making, what, one year as president? (laughs) That's not the forum. You want to really talk to youth? Have a conversation where you're sitting at their level with them, not on a podium somewhere lecturing them. And talk to them and see what their issues are and get to understand them. You're first lady. But I just thought that it was kind of, I don't want to say low class. Low class. Because she is first lady. You know, so I want to try to be respectful. But she certainly wasn't respectful. She wasn't respectful to black Americans. And she wasn't respectful or to African Americans. And she wasn't, she certainly wasn't respectful to Megan. Who had just come there had such a wonderful time. Those people. And also, I also feel this too. I think that there was also an agenda, I think. Because when Harry and Meghan went there, they were not seen at all by the first lady or the president. Oh. So that was very interesting to me. And I just wondered if, you know, the royal family contacted them to say, hey, they're not coming representing us. Do not see them. And so maybe Those this was maybe royal- this was their way of saying, "Look, we are with you. I will I will be sure to say something about her dress." And you know the other thing, okay, you want people to have respect for you all. You're going to have respect for her. Okay? She yes, yeah, she has discovered she has 43% Nigerian, but she's not Nigerian. She's American. You know what I'm saying? She's African American. She has her own culture. Well, she's biracial. She has, yeah. She's she is part African American. Like she's African American and white. Yes, you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you said she's African American. Yeah, yeah, you're, right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's not say that she's African American because you she, she has always part said of her. exactly. She's exactly. a woman and of we color. We have friends who are biracial, and they're very the friends that I have. They're very much about that life. Like I am biracial. So, yes, let me not do that. Um, but actually, when she was in Nigeria, that was the first time I heard her say she's African-American. I never heard Megan say that. She's always said I'm a person of color. Oh. So, but she did say that as she was wearing her red, her red dress. <laughs> For me, but I just felt... I also think, let me, and I, then I'm done. I also think you have to have respect for people's culture. She's coming from America. It's hot as hell in Africa. Like, even when you first came here. And I told you, I said the heat is, is different, right? Yeah. And when you came here, you're just like, the heat is just different. I mean, for some reason in America, it seems as though we're not sweating. You come to Africa all of a sudden, and you're sweating. All the makeup. I know, all like, the you time. stop wearing makeup. The sweat is pouring down. You stop wearing like, leave. My you God. can't even use a tissue to wipe your face. You got to have a whole t-shirt, right? So Megan was there, all her arms exposed each time with her chest exposed. Listen, she's hot. It's hot there. But now she's there saying, well, the men are covered. And I mean, like, Harry was just... covered in the five-piece suits. Of... I know, I know. But my and thing it's is, true. Men a... are always covered in the women. <laughs> women are not. But... You know, my I thing just is, felt it's like so poor cold. taste, poor taste, it and is wrong poor, venue. Yeah, I do think it's in poor taste, and I also think the thing is, America, we have our own culture. Do we have our pros and our cons? Yes, and mm. everything and stuff like that. I, I mean, we have always said, you know, it makes no sense. You see these women at these shows, and the men are in five piece suits, and you have some yeah, women have who that. don't even have undergarments on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, but we say that in house. <laughs> Right. Like, I just felt like her going there and saying that one, I felt like it was one, it was counterproductive. Yeah. Two, I felt like it was very shady. And then three, very the thing, shady. And she had just left. Very shady. She had just left. And Especially my when is, she not see you. 
You don't even greet him. You don't go meet this woman. But here you are. You are calling her name. She came to Nigeria. You never went to go see her. But you got the nerve to pat your lips and call her name. Uh uh. Uh uh. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I don't accept it. One little bit. Okay? Yes. I don't accept it. Yes. And sure. yes, there can be very shady Nigerians. Uh, most of my African friends are actually from Nigeria. Um. But yes, there could be very shady Nigerians, and some of them could be downright judgmental. Yep, I know that, and they know that. All right. My but, thing is, you I know, just felt like you're here. It's not all of them. It's not most of them. It's a few that can be judgmental, and I feel as though she certainly was. My thing is, Megan came and decided to visit your country and everything. Those people in the royal palace would not even bother to sniff the same air as you. And this is how you decided to treat Megan. Well, they want to show loyalty. I mean, how how show how is that working for to people you? I don't know. Who, um, I, in my opinion, have racist tendencies. Yeah. But that's who you want to show loyalty to. Hey, I think the bigger right issue away. in Nigeria probably is not the dressing of the youth yes. i feel there are bigger issues there are other issues there's way bigger issues a lot of than, issues that, that, uh, that, 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 that nigerian in Niger. people are complaining about and you know they, a lot of nigerians did come to the defense of megan which i say happy. like she the first lady exactly the first lady you your husband has to attend to a lot of our issues that we have in house and this is not it I and then when you look at Nollywood, you know, they got a whole Nollywood there, their film industry there. Mm -hmm. I see how them people be dressed. You ain't got to go look forward to the Met Gala. Why don't you go talk to address your Nollywood uh, actresses first before you come and talk about Met Gala? Like, yeah. deal with your own house stuff. Yeah. This so my problem. thing is, I just felt like it's, I just thought it was very juvenile. I thought it was in poor taste. And I think it's shameful. My thing is, I do understand, yes, it's important to remember where you come from. Remember your culture. Keep that culture. Don't try to emulate other people, whatever the case may be. Right. But there's a way of, to go about that. And there's mm -hmm. a way to talk about that or whatever. Yeah. You know, no country is perfect. But I just don't think it's okay for another woman to put another woman down who came to just just to be in to your country lift up to your enjoy. own country and to enjoy it too and put eyes on it that's all she came for and you, and we're supposed to strive to be united but you see i'm not surprised this is the wife of that president who was there sent his people because you know he's the head of the ECOWAS. remember we talked about that sent his people to go to germany oh! to go yes to go get some uh war power to come and fight Niger, only for them to tell him, uh, you know something, we are not going to do that. And they had to turn tail, come back like idiots when they were trying to get, go to war with their brethren because they had ousted France from their country. It's that president? That's the president's wife. Uh, why am I shocked? So, what exactly. Is this video? Exactly. Why just, am just I shocked? Just go and look I, at our video about Niger. I can't. Just, just, you guys just go back to that. The bar of what I expect now of these two people is, it is down? It's, it's like below the gutter. It's below where the vermin reside in the gutter. Okay, well maybe not the gutter because <laughs> you know, they're still our people. <laughs> <laughs> not the gutter. We keep that one in house. I am Ghanaian and Sierra Leonean. Yes, I don't know still, these people. You know, no, no. But your grandma was born in Nigeria. She was born in Enugu State. So well, that's news. You just telling me this now. You said you were born in Ghana. No, she. I was born in Ghana, but grandma lived in Nigeria for the first her first nine years of her life. Her mm -hmm. father worked there for decades. Her mother had a bakeries and all kinds of businesses there. So, yes, we love Nigeria. Yeah, my mom was born in Nuku State. So, yes, we're not going to throw them away. <laughs> but First Lady Olu Remi Tinubu, and they you try and your husband, you got to do better. You got to do better. The Nigerians are watching but you, and we? so are we around the world. You got to do better. You got to be reaching out a hand of welcome. This is not the way for a first lady to be. You want to reach the youth, you sit with them, eye level, 
and talk to them about their issues, not pointing the figure and wag your figure. You want to talk about how people are dressing? Go address your Nollywood actresses first. Don't be looking across the Atlantic Ocean to Met Gala. Look right there in Nollywood. Please. Yeah, I think that okay, was all we want to say Megan, about this, right? We love you. Most of Nigeria loves you. Most of Africa loves you. Okay? Most of African American love you. And I am sure America loves you. All right? And Harry and your two beautiful children. Yes, there are people out there who will always be there trying to beat, beat you down. You know, but keep on trying to rise above the fray like a phoenix, beloved. All uh, right. We see you. We honor you. And um, we need to strive as people to continue to come together and stop trying to put the other down. Okay? Like I always say, Africa cannot really rise without Africans in the diaspora coming to assist and help out. And warn. And both of us have to learn from each other. There are things that they can teach us. That we also must sit on the floor and look up and let them teach us. There are things that we can teach them. That they also need to sit on the floor and look up and let us teach them. Alright? But we cannot do it. Bashing each other. We certainly cannot. And it's time that we move away from that nonsense. We will not have it all. We will not have it. Okay. Yes, so. Goodbye.